know, and another thing, we don't call it twerking. We shake, we wiggle, we wobble, we bust open, we, we bend over, we pounce, bitch. Yeah, we down here. We release we our it, yeah. wiggle. You yeah. heard me? Today on a very special made from scratch, we head to the New Orleans kitchen of the queen diva herself, Big Frida. The monarch of bounce and successful entrepreneur, along with her childhood best friend Addie, make Mama Vera's cornbread dressing with sides of cabbage, fried fish, and childhood memories. So the cornbread is done. Okay. Um, I normally do this in a pan, but since I don't have a big pan, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop this cornbread in this mix. Oh, look how good that look, Addie. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Look at that good old blend there, honey. Yellow. Thank you. You see that good old flavor there? The story goes on and on though. Like how I bounced back yeah. from Katrina and like just hustling. But I also was just like, bounce music might lose its touch. You know, I started feeling mm -hmm. like that because we were displaced all over the world. Yeah. I moved to Houston, going back and forth to Houston, bust the clothes open, clubs open, breakers, all the nightclubs. I heard. The man called and said, everybody keeps telling me, you know, Get Big Frida, get Big Frida. He said, I gotta find out who the fuck is Big Frida. Mm -hmm. He comes get me there. I go to the show. I rock the mic, just, you know, doing roll call. Baby, the crowd went crazy. He hired me. He was like, I need you every weekend. Bitch, I ran it for like two years. But the magic that happened in the clubs at that time. It was awesome. Friend. It was everything, huh? It was unbelievable because it was like, we've been through something and everybody needs this. Again, what we said earlier, it, uh, it comes out the passion comes out in music. Listen, I was going hard, uh -huh. the crowds was going hard, people mm -hmm. were like, bitch, they would be running outside, jumping up, screaming and hollering. I, it was like some shit I had never saw. So this is your, this you're telling your first experience of being, no, you know, having notoriety. You know what I'm, like really being Listen, in the know. I was like, they treat me like I'm Michael Jackson or something. They, I mean like running up outside, yeah. screaming. I'm like, yeah. it's our reunion. You know, and I started hustling, like, come back to New Orleans. We yeah. need y'all. Yeah. I started helping with the rebuild process. I had one of the first apartments open when I came back. It was dead in the city. Half of the city sure dead. Was. Yeah. I, it was scary. Yeah. You know, I had to ride around with my gun, uh -huh. you know, because it was like scared. Yeah. It was like some type of ghost town. It I was, was like, what everywhere. is everywhere. Yes. Yeah, it the, was. You know, people hadn't came back. A lot of homes had been got damaged. Just going through that struggle, it taught me, like, Material don't matter. What matters is life and, yeah. you know, holding on to each other. Look at this finished product, y'all. Mm. That's cabbage with flavor. Mm -hmm. 